hey, guess what? We're, what? we're back. And we need some headphones for uh, Tom. So Stretch that shirt headphones. out. Let everybody see that it's manja. Manja Italian. Yes. MTV. Hey, there you go. How are we doing? I need a little more, uh, a little, a little more slack on the uh, wire one. here. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he grew up when beef was cheap. All right, just, yeah, just pull it like you're starting a lawnmower. There you go. Are you all set? All right, we're kind of good. You got enough room there? I think. You want to unplug him for a second? We can replug if that works. We are back. Hey, I think we're back. Hey, uh, Andrea. Yes. Guess what? Chicken butt. I think we've lost control of the show. <laughs> I, yeah. think, I think so. But we'll, we'll get the train on the track. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear me. Can Tom hear me? You can hear me? All right, good. Hey, uh, we're out here at uh, Rico's on 3rd Avenue. And, uh, man, we had the best lunch ever, I think, because uh, we had pizza. We're going to have Do we have? I haven't eaten. We're not bringing any food over. Johnny okay. Has. Yeah, because everybody ate it. We we're going to have the food on the show. And show people, but uh, I've been I've been uh, shot down with that idea. But uh, tell us a little bit about your restaurant, sir. Oh, well, thanks, Johnny. Uh, you know, we're we're on Third Avenue, which is the event one-stop shop place, which you already know. Uh, name of the place is Manja Italiano. It's on the corner of Third and Davidson, which is 248 Third Avenue. I've uh, been there for gosh, it's going on seven years now. So. If you have ever been downtown, you kind of know it's the red building with the big mural on the side. Right. And uh, right across from it is the big yellow building with the mural on the side. So right. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know, a landmark in there. I can't tell you how many times I ran into that wall. <laughs> I thought it was real, and it turns out it's a mural. That explains the dent. Yeah. Yeah. In my head. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> on both. Yeah. People have been asking me that for years. Hey, I stopped by your place the other day, and uh, it's beautiful. Thanks. It's uh, the mural in there on the on the on the ceiling. It uh, it's reminiscent of the uh, uh, Venetian in big, in big Vegas. Copies. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's I know. my story. I'm I was going to mention yeah. to it yeah. to them, <laughs> but uh, that's very nice. And you have all the pictures in the uh, in the hallway there. Right. Is there any relevance in those pictures? We keep any up, Andrew? There's uh yeah, there's a lot of family in the pictures. Of course, I'm up in their pictures, and there's you know? some history in the pictures too. So absolutely, um, a lot of people that see those will will combine them with other Italian restaurants around the, the East County. Mostly, that's where we mostly come from and, and are from. Um, and by the way, one of the things that we're real well known for is the fact that we're downtown. And we have a buffet. Chula Vista. Yeah, downtown Chula Vista. Sorry. Right. Is, right. <laughs> is, there, is there someplace else? I mean, <laughs> Not as far as the I'm world concerned. is Chula Vista for right. me. <laughs> but uh, from 11 to 2, it's, there's a lunch buffet. So if you have a large group, um, like today we had a Boldegas was there. And they're a very political group. And we had people down from L.A. and from all over to listen to the Otai Water District. And they're able to, you know, have the buffet, which makes it really easy for them to come and have big groups and not be uh, held up with taking orders and food being delivered and that kind of thing, too. Now, uh, as far as uh, handling big crowds like that, do you have the facility to do that? Yeah, we got four dining areas. Johnny, thanks for asking that question. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> so one does up to 80 people. Um, one does up to 32. And then the two main dining areas um, do about 40 apiece. So... Yeah, um, that's the beauty of our place because the rooms are very separated. So when you have a large group like the Umboldegas group, they don't want to be interrupted by anybody. Right. They want to be off on their own. In the or if the talk of San Diego comes in there to do a show. Amen. If we don't want to disturb the others because they'd run out the door. Bring it on. I know. <laughs> Bring it hey, on. So uh, that's a very nice facility. Do you and also I, make the food? Oh, yeah. We make everything from scratch. Do you? Oh, personally, uh, when I need to, but that usually means something went wrong with the staff. So, um, of course, I'm the head trainer and chef, but uh, yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> and you have a bar there, too. We do. It's, it's beer and wine, and uh, we have a great selection of wines. You can't have Italian without some great wines. No, you cannot. Yeah. And do you have a wine cellar there, or are they just uh, up on the wall? They're on the wall. We have a cellar in the back that's nothing like, uh, I don't need a big key hanging around my neck to go back and get it. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be doing New York and a big guy comes out in a tuxedo. Now that buffet, you say it goes from... With flavor Flav. With only with a, uh, a wine thing instead of a clock. Yeah. 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 Now, uh, you say you have the buffet? We do. 11 to 2 for lunch. And what, do you, what kind of fare are you uh, doling out on that buffet? We know there's 15 items, and the hot items kind of change. Um, 
always two soups, always a bunch of fresh fruit, always a bunch of bunch of great salads. Um, but the hot items like lasagna, um, stuffed shells, Florentine, those all kind of change and rotate depending on what day it is. And, and you know. so that means I'd have to come in almost every other day. You could come in every day and I eat the same thing. So that's true. And then I forgot to mention that we have one dinner buffet, and only one day is Tuesday night. And that's from uh, 4 o'clock until 8. So it does stop from 11 to 2. You know, it gets refreshed and you know, made whole again. And right. It sounds like it's pretty healthy. So even if you're on a diet, normally buffet and diet doesn't go together. But you've got salads and fruits and all that kind of stuff. Some people just do it for seven ninety five because they want a nice salad bar. Right. And they, they have the soup and stuff, and they skip the hot foods. I, I did that. I skipped right past that. I just, ooh, hey, but yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's how, how long is that? That's like, a, what, 20 feet long? It is a nice long buffet. It is. Yeah, if you go on our website, you can see the picture of it, what it looks like. And I get a lot of people look at, can they come in and immediately go over to the buffet and start looking to see what's in there? And it's like, nah, it's just for lunch pretty much or Tuesday nights. Very yeah. okay, cool. And you've been there for how long? It's going on seven years now. I'm getting old. Yeah. So, Third <laughs> Avenue is a half in town, man. If you're an event person, it's starting to happen here big time. You name, I don't know who you've had on already. Who, who have you had on so far? Today? Yeah. Well, we had the singing florist. Okay. Myra. Right. Right. And we had, throw away. we had a gentleman, a Memo, who is a photographer, a wedding photographer. Right. So it's a wedding right. theme yeah. the show, if you will. And then we had uh, Snooky on there for a minute or two. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have a, a modeling agency right. come out here. So uh, we've got uh, it's a pretty, pretty good show. And I see you have a dress shop lady over here. Yes, we do. We're going to have her on there. Uh, Andrea is wearing one of her uh, creations. Well, not creations, but one of her dresses. But the highlight of the show has got to be the food. Of you course. know, thank you for that, saying that. That was great pie. And, and there were meats on there that I couldn't even identify. <laughs> well, that's not always a good thing, John. I want you to know that no, they're all USDA is certified and identifiable. That don't don't just think you're going to get sausage and uh, pepperoni. You're going to get the works. You're going to get oh, some yeah. good meats on there. And you brought what uh, Alfredo on there that uh, might have had a little, little accident. We oh, well, that wasn't me, but yeah. No. Um, and uh, I'm not really. I can't really honestly tell you. I just uh, asked to throw something together for you, and I, right. I didn't really look. I, I confess. I have great chefs. I trust them wholeheartedly. And we certainly appreciate the work that they did. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, I think we're going to be taking a break pretty soon, huh? We'll talk to our sound guy here, see if uh, we're coming up here. No? It should be in a moment. Yeah, pretty soon. So we're listening to Pure Prairie League. There's a song called Amy. You're familiar with that, right? I am old enough to know that song, yes. Exactly. There you go. I saw them in uh, Irvine, California, Irvine, Illinois. Is that right? Yeah, a long time ago. A long, long time ago. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for coming in. I would look forward to coming in and eating there and looking forward to talking about you on the show in future shows. Hey, thanks. So this is Johnny. This is Andrea. And this is the talk of San Diego.